Hey guys, welcome back to another Game Dev Tycoon. Uh, first and foremost, I want to start out this episode with saying we finally did it. We reached 200 subscribers, and not only that, we did it in five days. Our 200th subscriber, if you're watching this, thank you for this, uh, is Canada's Free RPGS. So thanks, man or girl. I can't. I don't really know by the name, but thank you. You are awesome. We have finally done it. So in in five days, we went from 50 subs to 100 subs. And then another five days later, we went from 100 subs to 200 subs. That's absolutely insane for how new this channel is. I just started like a month and a week or two ago. That's just absolutely insane. I cannot thank all of you enough for helping me get this far in our journey that will hopefully be for many, many years. And you know, for many, many hundreds and thousands of more of us to come. Uh, we will have a 250 subscriber special. Uh, I'm going to start working on that soon, but I, I've been sitting here at my computer in anticipation of this moment, and it has finally happened, so thank you, man. You're awesome, and hopefully you'll stay with us till the very end of our journey, which will hopefully not be... For a very long time. But enough with the chit chat. Let's get on with Game Dev Tycoon. So when we left off. We had lots of money. 184 million dollars. Elongated Crater. Because I messed up the name if you guys remember. Is now off the market. Oh my god. It's sold 2.8 million units. Generating 31 million dollars in sales. That's absolutely insane imagine selling a game like probably games nowadays like by the big companies they sell games and if they get that much they're sad but like let's say we're a new coming game that's a lot of money imagine getting that much money that's absolutely insane so let's us i actually kind of forget where we left off i think we just made a new engine if i'm not mistaken so actually let us research because we have 121 research points that's a lot of research points. Uh, let's see. What would be something good to have? I'm thinking Dynamic World, but then again, large games. The large games could be very useful. So, I'm thinking we'll do large games for now, so we can get even more money from those games, more research points, and then we'll get a Dynamic World in the world design. That will be our next thing to get. Alright. But wow, I, can't, I still can't believe it. We have reached two hundred subs that's absolutely crazy i feel like i'm rambling on but i just words cannot describe what i feel when someone subscribes it just it's the best feeling in the world especially like if i if i go to sleep at night wake up in the morning and see like overnight five or six people subscribe while i was sleeping i mean that just it's like the best feeling in the world all right but let's go back all the way back to one of these games. One of these games. Uh, helmets with horns? No. Hmm. The Bubonic War. Let, let's see if we can do a sequel to the Bubonic War. And again, if you're new here and you didn't start the series over, the Bubonic War, name it after the Bubonic Plague, which is the, you know, Black Death or. I, yeah, it's Black Death. Alright. It's going to be a large game. $1.5 million just to make it a large game. That's absolutely insane. Alright, so it was called the Bubonic War before. Let's call this... Um, the Spanish Flu... Uh, the Spanish Flu... Uh, let's see... Conflict... No, I can't fit that. Spanish Flu War. There, there we go, the Spanish Flu War. Let's just get that out of there. We don't need it. Alright, so it's going to be on the PC with the Novosly 1.6. I mean, excuse me, Novosly V 1.6. Alright, so we did get a new engine. That's good. Next, we will do 3D Graphics V5 for 450,000. Alright, so already, before we even get into the game development, it's going to cost us $2 million to make this game. 
it better be worth it because we don't make many action games we usually just go straight RPG games because that's that's the money maker for us alright seven design six technology we're gonna start off good I can already see we got five employees now so the development stages shouldn't be a problem anymore let us have immersive storytelling but we will not have morale choices because it's just an action game but we will still have this amount of stories and quests in it you know just to keep people gripped in you know alright so we will take it oh excuse me uh, we'll take off skill trees and we'll leave engine that way so basically that's what it's gonna be like now stories and quest is a design thing so Nathaniel Long that's good Phil Robertson will take over that major design thing I think that's nine, but if it's technology, he still has good technology amounts, so we will never know. And Isaiah Stevens with his beautiful amount of technology, 675, he will take over on the engine. Okay, development stage one completed. Alright, already generating some hype, we will market this soon. Alright, I have a good feeling about this episode, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the money. But then again, I might have just jinxed us, alright, let's market this now. Let's do a large campaign for two million dollars. Let's just go all out for this game. All right, large marketing campaign. I want to see that hype skyrocket. A hundred design, ninety technology already. Uh, Phil Robertson, we will give you a break, and Hector Butler will take over on level design. So unfortunately, that might turn out badly for us. Dialogues will still be good. No loading screens. We forgot to put that in last time, so maybe. This game will be absolutely fantastic. We'll take off dialogue tree in the dialogues. And AI, that's good as well. So Nathaniel Long, you will take over on designs. Uh, uh, dialogues, so that's a design. Uh, Hector Butler, level design. And Brandon Stokes, you will take over on the AI, because that's a technology thing. And you're the second best man for the job. We will give Isaiah a break. Actually, Isaiah... Well, mm, is there any technology things in the next one? And we'll give it to Brandon Stokes so everyone gets evened out and stuff. Okay. Development well, stage 2 completed. Now let's just hope that this game brings in the money. Because I really do not want to waste that $2 million for a large marketing campaign for nothing. But we still have $177 million in the bank. 176.9 now. Alright, Hector Butler, you're going to need a break. Oh, alright, so this is where it's going to get tricky. Hector Butler will not... Oh, uh, this is going to be hard. World design is a design purpose. Oh, Phil Robertson, you do that one. Oh my god, this, is, this isn't going to look good at all. And Isaiah Steven, you take... Is it sound design or si sound technology? I think sound is design. That sounds like it would be a better thing. So let's give you to Nathaniel Long. All right, so these people are really getting overworked. So actually, we'll keep Hector Butler on the job. So Phil Robertson, you, sir. I just pointed at it with my finger. I shouldn't have done that. You, sir, take over 155%. You are really going to break a sweat with this game but hopefully you pull out just fine okay oh god I'm really actually nervous about this game the Spanish flu war what kind of name is that what was I thinking what was I thinking god damn it okay so oh wow we have more we have more technology than design when has that ever happened uh, but maybe uh Maybe we'll throw some design in there and we'll actually pass it. Oh, maybe not. I I don't remember. Let me know in the comments if there's ever been a game we've done where the technology was higher than the design, because I can't recall. Wow. Alright, let's... Oh, get that bug out of there. Alright, so... The technology was 11 points higher than the design. That's a first. Engine is now level 9. AI is level 9, graphics is level 9, 3D graphics of E5 is now level 6, and Brandon Stokes is level 5. He is no longer a child or a preteen. He is now an adult in our neighborhood. Salary increase, versatile, release a successful game in each of the five main things, blah blah blah. It went away too fast. 
52,000, that's fine. Special training available for Brandon Stokes as well. Yes, we can get advanced physics and self-learning AI. Oh, these games are going to be absolutely fantastic. 175.7 million, 0.4 million in the bank. All right, the first reviews came in. Let's see them. Uh, it's not that amazing, but it got a 7. It's a nice experience. Oh, it teased me with those 10s. 9, it's a great sequel. 8, very good. And another 8, their focus on gameplay served this game very well. I'm glad we did focus on gameplay a lot. Alright, so we got 175.4 million in the bank. Let's see how much we get. Alright, we got lots of money. What was it, 174? I already forgot. Doesn't matter, we got buttloads of money. It's already been $500,000 in sales. Still not as good as our previous games. The excitement seems to have no end. Are right, we finally passed 1 million, 1.2 million now. Alright, 1 million sales, platinum status, the excitement again seems to have no end. Um, Alright, we've passed 100 in research points again, so let's quickly research. Oh, but advanced physics, oh, advanced physics, that's... And self-learning AI, 150 research points for self-learning AI, that's... That's a biggie right there, but I think we're gonna go for a dynamic... Uh, advanced physics, maybe? Hmm they're both good. Alright, we'll do Dynamic World. We said we would do that, but then immediately we'll make another game. Hopefully we'll make an, get enough research points and we will then get advanced physics. I can't believe we're still making games with horrible physics. That's unbelievable. What are we doing here at Slide F Manning? We're completely slacking off. You guys playing like... What are you guys playing? You playing Facebook games instead of working? That's probably what everyone's doing. Alright, they're getting... Getting tired, we're gonna send them on vacation real quick while we have to do nothing. Uh, Isaiah Stevens still going hard, but pretty soon he's gonna have to leave. A little bit of spike here and there, but still, no matter what, it's decreasing. But look at that, $208.8 million in the bank. Uh, game convention, we will get a large booth for $1.5 million. We are just high rollers now, spending all of our money because we can. And we're going to immediately start making a new game, so develop another sequel. Alright, let's go all the way back. Always, We keep always going back to when our PCs were big fat things. Uh, okay. Hmm. Anything that looks good. Alright, well, that's our first game ever. I think we're going to have to start dipping into when we first started making these types of games, like... TF2 Origins, no. To Boldly Go, Oblivion... Rolling Thunder. Mm, I don't know. Sherbel Space Sim. <laughs> Bones of Steel. Let, let's do Bones of Steel. It was an okay PC game, 6.5. It's a fantasy RPG. Let's do it. It's going to be a large game for mature audiences. It will be on the PC. Novo Sly V1.6. Bones of Steel. Let's change this to... Um, Uh, adamantium. I think that's how you spell it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you know what adamantium is and what uh, famous comic slash uh, movie series that is from. Uh, as you can probably tell from all of the references I've made in all of my Let's Plays and stuff. I'm kind of a geek. Uh, what a shocker there. Alright, adamantium implants. Yes, it fits. Adamantium implants. Actually, mm, adamantium fusion. No, that's a U. Adamantium fusion. Uh, that does that does that seem right? I don't know. Adamantium. Let Let's do implants. That That seems good enough. If it, if it doesn't do good, we'll do another one, and it'll be called Adamantium Fusion. But, again, comments, if you know what that's from. And try not to use the internet, you know, see if you if you can get your brains around what it is. Alright, 8 design, 8 technology, this is perfect. And it's an RPG, so we will have morale choices as well. And skill trees, so this is going to be one of our big games. Stories and quests all the way up. Uh, gameplay will still be high, but we'll bring this down to, like, say, 60. Nope. Come on. 
60 and then the engine still needs to be good but not too like amazingly good at 80 percent so again gameplay you can go down to 60 and stories and quests is at 72 uh nathaniel long will take over on that stories and quests is a design thing so actually phil robertson will take over on that and nathaniel long will do gameplay and isaiah stevens will not do the engine he brandon stokes will do the engine isaiah stevens will do the ai because i think ai will be slightly higher than the engine it's gonna be slightly more important all right there we go oh i love this game this game is so much fun even after playing it once it's still something that i can always go back to and just start over and that's why i started this series oh all right g3 convention adamantium implants People are coming over, they're like, oh, I know what series that thing is from, and then they run over. We finally passed 1 million, we got 1,259,627 people at our booth because, you know, adamantium implants. That's just amazing. I hope I didn't spell adamantium wrong. Alright, we were at place 55 this year at the uh, top 100 conference attractions. We did not make it number one, but I assure you, Soon we will. We will soon. Alright. Let's market this right now. With... Actually, no. We will do it after we do Development Stage 2. Ah, oh, if strategy games are popular, damn. Alright, dialogues all the way up. We will have dialogue trees equipped. No loading screens, all that. Alright, so level design, you will go down to, say, 60. And AI, you will go up right to about there, I'd say. And again, you go up to 60, and Dialogues is still going fine. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Nathaniel Long, he's starting to get overworked. Let's see. Can Phil Robertson take over? Nope, he definitely cannot. Um, well, Isaiah Stevens, you do AI. Hector Butler, you're going to have to take over on, the di on Dialogues. And Nathaniel Long, you take over on level design we are really working our designers hard that's why we need to start training our technology guys and well especially Hector Butler he's just kind of useless like he's not useless but you know 170 design 169 technology when all these other guys are freaking amazing in their fields at least like he's just sort of like nothing he's just there to help us if we need help all right but anyway let's do that we will market that with a large marketing campaign again. Two million dollars. We have, and we're still gaining money. Look at that increase in sales. That was probably from G3. Spanish Flu War has almost sold three million. Come on, can we do it? Three million. We did it. And look at the hype on this game. 239 hype. Isaiah Stevens. I think that's his name. Yeah, Stevens. All right. I was, I was like, did I just get his name wrong? I really hope I didn't. Alright, so we are overworking Phil Robertson again. He is right on the brink of, you know, his breaking point. This isn't good. And, oh crap, we need... We're putting Brandon Stokes on graphics. That That's not good. Alright, Nathaniel Long, you go in there. Oh no, Nathaniel, he's being overworked. Alright, um... Hector Butler's on sound. Let's give him a break and put Brandon Stokes on sound as well. So Nathaniel Long and Phil Robertson are two really big high rollers besides Isaiah Stevens because we could say he is, but he's really only technology and he's a noob in the office. So since Isaiah Stevens isn't really doing anything for this development stage that's important, we will send him on his vacation right away. There we go. Send on vacation. Hopefully he'll be back before the stage is over but look at that oh are we gonna we're definitely gonna pass 300 we have to pass 300 there we go people just cannot get over this game they are freaking just camping outside gamestop three weeks in advance just to make sure that they can get their pre-ordered copy at midnight on release look at the hype it stayed at 358 now the spanish flu war oh my god it sold 3 million units generating 42.8 million dollars in sales. That's absolutely insane. 
Who would buy something called the Spanish Flu War? I have no clue. Oh, hopefully our hype doesn't go down while they're fixing these bugs. Alright, back where it should be. The design is much higher than the technology. Because we were pushing our design people to the brink. Uh, Alright, let's click that. No surprise bugs. 287 design, 236 technology. Got a new record in design. We're just pumping out ideas like crazy. Hector Butler is almost level 8, but nothing leveled up that time. We have 92 research points, so while this is happening, let us do some contract work. Right there, a library software. Easy enough. The first reviews for adamantium implants came in. What do we get? It's a 10! They thought it was awesome! Of course it's awesome! It's adamantium! 10 best of its kind! 10 truly great. If we get another 10, I swear to god, I don't think we're gonna do it though. Nope. Ah! Oh, they do that! They always wait till the end! They're gonna make me cry! Oh! They always wait to the end to give you the 9! It's like a suspenseful movie or something. Ah! Oh. Damn you! Damn you! Alright, this game is gonna be absolutely fantastic. 207.4 million dollars in the bank. Look at this. Oh my god. Ha. Oh. It's it's barely been half a week and we passed 1.1 million. All right, 47,000, but screw you. Oh my god. Oh my god. In one week, it sold 1.8 million copies. Holy crap. Holy crap. Look at our money and everything. We have 255.2 thousand fans. Oh my god, it's a... Oh, you now have more than 250,000 fans. We've been publishing large games without... I didn't even know that we needed that. Holy crap. Alright. I'm flustered. What? We... What? We passed 4 million already in the, in the third week. In the third week. We didn't even pass 4... We didn't even get close to 4 million in the last game. 5 million in sales. Oh my... Oh my god. This is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. I can't... Oh my god. Another memorable game by Sly Deathman Inc. has been released. A true achievement in interactive storytelling. The characters and the captivating scenarios just stick in your mind. Adamantium implants really deserve those top spots in the charts. Gary White, gamers. Thank you, Gary White. You have good taste in games. Alright, we need, a, we need three more research points. Come on, we can do it. Oh, can we do that? I don't think so. I don't want to, like, push us too hard. In eight weeks, we could definitely do that. Alright. Come on, guys. We really want those research points. Oh, yes, we got it. We did it. Perfect. Perfect. 110 research points. Alright, that's fine. Now, Phil, you will research advanced physics for 400,000. And we are going to make that new game engine. Adamantium implants! Holy crap! Racked over 10 million sales! If the game were a music record, it would have diamond status. We're going- oh my goodness, we're gonna need an iron pick to get that shit. Oh crap, bringing Minecraft into this. This game truly deserves to be called a triple-A game. Now you guys don't know what that is unless you played this game, but once we get this thing called a research and development room, which is something that like appears over here on the right side, we can research something called AAA games that are these massively sold games. It got over 10... Holy crap! Adamantium... We have $350.5 million! What? What? Oh my god. I, I'm sorry if I'm like being too noisy or too excited, but this is just insane. I can't believe this. We were doing so crappy for such a long time, we were just barely getting by. We had like $5 million, we were like, alright, we need something, and then we'd go down to $4 million, and we'd get up to $7 million, and then back down to $5 million. We were so stuck. Alright, we got the advanced physics, let's make this custom engine. Alright, it's gonna have orchestral sound, obviously. Uh, we can take out the interactive story, because we no longer need that. Advanced physics, uh, we'll take out basic physics, because we do not need that. We'll put all that in there, that in there as well, and Dynamic World. 1.9 million dollars for this engine. It's gonna be called Novo Sly V 2.0. There we go, create the engine. 1,025 little bubble things remaining. This is such a huge engine. 
It's going to be a massive leap forward, and we're still making money. Look at that. We are still making money. And look at how low the charts are. You can barely even see it. 12.3 million copies were sold. This is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Oh! Holy! Holy shit! Holy shit! Excuse my language. I'm very sorry. I usually do not curse in my Game Dev Tycoon series. We save that stuff for, you know, Spore and Minecraft. But look at that. It sold 12.3 million units, generating 173.2 million. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, uh, my, uh, my pants. I just, I just shit in them. Damn you, game. You always do this to me. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Now I, ah. Oh. I'll stick with it. I'll smush around in these pants for a while longer until we end this episode. But, oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is this is a money overload. Money overload. Crap, I think that's going to be the name of this episode right here. We're not going to go to G3 this year. I apologize. We need a recoup here. Take a nap. Because freaking our company just orgasmed. Holy shit. Novoslide V2.0 is now complete. I need to catch my breath. Oh my god. Alright, you guys... I. Of course you're tired, damn. Look at all of our money. We could throw away $100 bills without even worrying. Cause, and we don't have the time to even pick it up because we'll actually be losing money. Or something, I don't know, I don't know how that works. Oh my god, alright. I think we're going to end this episode here. I don't want to give you guys strokes from watching this. I don't want to give myself a stroke from playing this, holy crap. Oh, make sure to like and favorite if you enjoyed. I, I know, I did, I know. I did. Oh my god. <sighs> Subscribe, and I will see you guys.